Hey guys, um, I am going to do an in-depth video on uh, my injections today because I've gotten, um, actually quite a few, um, comments about, like, why I do my shots, how I do them, and, uh, what are they, and etc, etc. Um, so, <clears throat> first, I am currently taking 0.40 milliliters of testosterone a week, which, if I can find the right syringe, I'll show you how much that is. Yeah, it's roughly that much. Um, I might have adjusted this slightly past the four. Um, yeah, it just says slightly past the four, but well, um, <clears throat> so that's how much 0.40 is, um, one full milliliter would be down to this line right here, um, and one milliliter is also what one cc is, so a milliliter and a cc are the exact same thing, um, and point, 0.40 milliliters would be 0.40 cc's. What that is. Um, I do subcutaneous injections, which uh, subcutaneous means in the fat, um, which means it's a much shorter needle. It can be a smaller gauge, and it doesn't hurt nearly as much, and um, it doesn't develop so much scar tissue as an intramuscular injection is, which intramuscular means in the muscle, which is a much longer needle. Um, and a much thicker gauge, um, and it can develop scar tissue. Uh, um, a intramuscular needle has to be at least one to one and a half inches, and it can be up to two inches long, which, I mean, that, that's a needle that's like that fucking long, <clears throat> because it has to get down far enough to actually get into the muscle. The only short needle that you could ever use for intramuscular, um, uh, well, I mean, you could use a short needle for intramuscular, but you'd only be able to inject into, like, the bicep. Um, that's the only one that I've found that's it's safe for. Like, um, for my needles, which are these, these are, um, Roughly a little smaller than an inch long, um, and they are 25 gauge needles. Usually with testosterone, you would use like um, an 18 to a 22 gauge needle, um, and with the per with what everybody else is subscribed on, they get usually three milliliter liter. Uh, needles and this is a one milliliter needle. That's why it's so tiny. Um, okay, um, but uh, the only intramuscular you could do with something like this is in the bicep, which I tried before and failed at because my needle was dirty. Um, also, I can't um, aspirate with just one hand. Anyway. Subcutaneous, these are the perfect size needles for subcutaneous. Um, you actually don't even have to go all the way in. Uh, with that, you could only go half the way in and still be able to hit the fat because there's a much larger area of fat and it's um, a lot closer to the surface of the skin than your muscle is. Especially on bigger guys who have plenty of fat everywhere. <laughs> and are afraid of needles, it's a great um, type of injection to do. Um, it's a lot easier than um, in the muscle <clears throat> um, to do your, it's a lot easier to do yourself. You don't, have to, you don't have to aspirate as long as you do it in the right places um, because, um, well, I've actually never seen veins in any of my fat except if it was in like this area. So basically, as long as you're not injecting into your tits, um, you 
shouldn't have to aspirate if you inject into any uh, other place of your body, unless you've actually seen veins there. Because if you can actually see the veins in that place, obviously it's very possible for you to hit the vein. But if any area of fat where you cannot visibly see veins, which is usually um, the stomach area around your belly button, usually on both sides, not above or below. Um, they say that you can do it below, but um, I had a bad experience doing that, so yeah, I'm not doing it. Um, the very inner of your thighs, the very outer of your thighs, the back of your arm, this part where it gets, uh, where the fat collects right about here, um, and pretty much anywhere else that there's a large amount of fat, you can pretty much inject anywhere. Um, I do my stomach because it's a lot easier for me to reach, um, uh, and it's a hell of a lot less painful, and the smaller needle makes it much less painful, it doesn't go in as far, it's not as, it's, it's not as thick, it, it's just so much easier and testosterone has no problem affecting you whether you're doing intramus intramuscular or subcutaneous they're basically the same thing it's just one hurts less um, a lot of the reason why most people do intramuscular is because they already have a large amount of muscle because they're probably on steroids not um, testosterone because they're trans either they're a normal bio male or a normal bio female they're on steroids and they don't have any fat to uh, inject into. And some of them will swear up and down that intramuscular um, works quicker or something. I don't believe it. Um, I've seen very decent results for the dosage that I'm on and doing subcutaneous. So I don't think that there's any real difference. So anybody who's having problems with intramuscular or um, you're a bigger guy and the needle is like ridiculously big because you need more than that much to get into the muscle because um, I have seen some trans guys who are around that size where a, a needle that big will not get into their muscle. Um, it, subcutaneous is probably a very good option for you. Um, and even and, and um, even with any shot, there's more than just one area that you can always shoot into. Now, there's suggested areas, like um, trans guys in the ass or in the leg, um, and there's specific areas in that muscle that you should inject into. Um, the biggest one is like where you take your leg and you like divide it in half and then in half again, you have to do it in this specific quadrant. Um, the reason for that is because there's two major nerves that run along inside that muscle, or around that muscle, um, and if you go in any of the other quadrants, you have a chance of hitting that nerve, and ow. <laughs> you don't want to hit that nerve, but in that one quadrant, there's this one gap in between the two, where if you hit it right, then you will completely bypass that nerve and you won't hit it. Um, that's the whole reason why people tell you to you know, uh, do that specific area, because otherwise, pretty much your entire leg, uh, the, the entire top of your leg would be fine to inject into because of how much muscle it is. They just um, say to do that one quadrant to avoid those two nerves. Um, but yeah, you could inject into any muscle in any area of fat. Um, just as long as you aspirate, pretty much, because you can inject into your bicep, you can inject into your chest, you can inject into your abs, you can inject to your shoulders, your tricep, um, uh, the traps, you can inject into pretty much any muscle, and you can inject into pretty much any fat. It'll all do the same things, just like if you were to do something like injecting into your tits, I would aspirate because you run risk of Hitting a vein because there are veins in your tits. Um, though um, I wouldn't suggest injecting into your tits. I just 
it just seems like a bad idea to me. Um, anyway, I think that's about all the info I have on normal injections that I've been asked about recently. Um, I will explain my um, storage method real quick because um, the website that I got my stuff off of came in little glass amples where you actually had to break the glass open um, and there is absolutely no you know storing it for later if you break it open you have to either use all of it which is what most steroid users do one of the, they'd use one or two of those amples a day so um, if you break it open you have to store it somehow what I've been doing is when I break one open I just put it in syringes um, for storage and um, just use that for my shots. Like um, This is all of um, next month's testosterone. Like Each one is a uh, 0.45 milliliter dose. Roughly. Give or take like the smallest, tiniest little amount. Yeah, each one of these is a clean syringe with a clean needle, one shot, no measuring, um, no hassle, really. Um, so, this will be an easy month. And um, the reason why I put all of those into their own was because um, if it each, to fill each one of these uh, up to 90, would be like really 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 hard to do um, like that this one that's got two shots worth in it is at 80 this is um, this month's this one is today's and this is the next two weeks um, what I do is I would inject up to the Four. I would take all of that up to the four and um, switch out the needles um, so that I don't have to waste so many needles on things. Well, actually, I still end up wasting about the same amount. It's just um, I don't have to store each one in a separate syringe because I only have these little baggies to store them in, and um, it just kind of it's cluttered when it's in like that. Plus, it's just easier to put it all in one syringe. Um, so this is this month's. If I can get it to go back in. And, uh, um, and then I had this one. Um, after I got the last three amples, I think I had. Um, after I got this month's and next month's stored up, um, I had that much still left. It's not enough for a full shot. It's like roughly half a shot. It's just basically extra. Anyway, um, so when I get more testosterone, I'll probably add to that and make it a full shot. So I don't have to do two shots. Because doing two shots in a day sucks. Okay, um, but yeah, um, plus I haven't had the extra money to actually buy a glass vial to store all of this in. Um, Mostly because the shipping cost more than the actual vial itself, because I could easily uh, come up with $5 to get a single glass vial. Um, it's just that they want to charge $10 in shipping for a fucking $5 item. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just store it in the syringes, and I have fucking 100 count bottles. That I haven't even really put a dent into yet. Mom found my fucking box. So yeah, I can do my shots. Um, 
but yeah, I have a ridiculous amount of needles. See, every one of these is a bag of, or is a sheet of six needles. So I have plenty. This is actually supposed to be somewhere around a two-year supply of needles. And if you want uh, any help on finding needles, um, figuring out the right size for you, um, figuring out your dosage, um, buying needles, where to buy, uh, where to buy vials, um, any of that stuff, feel free to send me a message because I can help you with that. Um, it was actually one of my awesome subscribers who informed me about subcutaneous shots because I uh, did not pay attention to the size of the needle um, when I bought it. <laughs> um, and he was asking me about the needles and stuff because he wanted to find a cheaper supplier of needles. And I gave him the exact link of what I personally bought. And he was like, you know that's too small for intramuscular, right? And I was like, no. <laughs> and then he explained what that I could do subcutaneous, so I did some research, and I was like, fuck yes. <laughs> subcutaneous ended up actually being a much better option for me, because I'm, you've seen in my other videos how scared I am of needles, and I prefer the needle to be that long and going and pull my actual muscle. Ow. I much prefer subcutaneous. Um, so, if you have any questions about any of that stuff, feel free to send me a message and ask. Um, I'm going to end this here and upload a separate video of me doing my shot. Alright, Wolfgang out.